I'm Ilian St. Hilaire and in this video we're going to take a look at SSH and SFTP integration with Mesh Central. So if you're a Linux user, you're probably extremely familiar with SSH and SFTP. They both use the same tunneling, um, the same SSH tunnel protocol. And so they go to the default port 22 on most Linux machines. And you can use them to remotely log in and have a command shell, transfer files, and so on. Well, integration of SSH and uh, S Secure FTP is integrated inside Mesh Central's web, AP, uh, web interface. And so I want to take a look at this today. So what I'm going to do is start with my trusty uh, server that I have here. And of course, it's running um, you know, locally on my machine. This is just a, my developer server. And today, we're going to focus on a Linux machine that is right here. And so normally, on my left, I have a Windows machine. But now, I have today a, a Ubuntu machine running right there. And so that will be perfect for our demos. So. The first thing I'm going to do is, obviously, I have the agent running on that Ubuntu machine. So if I click on it, you will see it's a Ubuntu 20.04 uh, long-term operating system. And I can click on desktop and hit connect and, of course, get the access to the um, desktop. But if I go on a terminal with the latest versions of Mesh Central, you get two options uh, instead of one that you uh, had before. In, uh, in fact, we'll talk about the third one a little bit. But the first one is connect to the ter terminal, to connect a remote terminal session using the remote Mesh agent. And so if you click on connect there, by default, the, it will open up a session under the same credentials uh, and at the same location for the working path as the agent uh, that is running on that machine. So, you know, if I type who am I here, I am currently root because the mesh agent is running a root uh, on that machine. Now, if I disconnect, I can right click and say root shell, user shell, or login shell. So I can say user shell and it will log me in as. Um, the currently logged in user. So I'm currently logged in um, on my left here. And so if I type who am I, uh, the username is called default. And then you can also right click and say login shell. Oops, right there. And then you get a login prompt and you can log in using uh, your username and password that you want for whatever user you want. So that's good. And a quick word here, there's the hardware connect button. That's for Intel AMT. Um, it's actually it's actually not hardware KVM. It's for hardware for serial over LAN. It is a serial port that will go um, up to a serial port and that the OS can do anything they want uh, on it. Uh, now, a useful thing you can do is run a remote shell on the serial port. And so through AMT, uh, even without the OS network interface driver loaded, you can still uh, basically shell into the OS. Okay, so that's these two buttons. But the third one, or the middle one here, that was recently added was SSH Connect. And if I click on that, I can now open an SSH session to that remote machine. So I can use a username and password. Uh, or I can use a uh, SSH certificate and um, uh, and then, of course, if I specify the certificate, I have to specify the password to decrypt the certificate. So I'm just going to try with username and password first. So default, and let me see here. Hopefully I remember that right. I'm going to say remember credential. This is going to save it server-wide, and I'm going to say OK, and there it goes. I am now logged in to a... Um, a SSA session using the web interface. Very nice. And you can see it says connected with SSH. Now, by the way, I can at any point click on this link here, SSH port 22, and change the port. If, uh, if you have an SSH uh, server on a different port, you can do that. Or you can even right click on the SSH connect button, click alternate port, it's the same thing, and uh, set it. Okay. Now, the next time I hit connect now, because it's, I remembered the credentials, I'm right in and I'm connected. If you want to clear the credentials, you go to the general tab, you'll see credentials. It says SSH username and password. I'm going to say OK, clear it. And I can go back to the terminal, click connect again, and then I'm gonna, I can use uh, the uh, 
the certificate and key. So I'm gonna use a username here, browse for certificate, I have a cert, I have a password for that certificate, and then I can specify, do you want to remember nothing? Do you want to remember the username and the key file, but not the password? Or do you want to remember all three, the uh, username, the key file, and the password? So I'm going to say remember, uh, actually, just the username and key file, and say OK. And boom, I'm connected, but now I'm connected using a certificate uh, to uh, authorize me instead of a password. So now I can disconnect. If I connect again, oops, sorry, if I SSH connect again, then uh, I have the choice of using the stored key or um, the, a new username and password or a new uh, username and key. So if I use the stored key, I need to type in the password that will decrypt that stored key. And I will type that in and it works. Perfect. OK. And then if I go back to the general tab, you'll see that it says SSH user plus key. So it, it, it has the user and the key, but it does not have the key password. So if I clear this, and I'll try again here, SSH connect with my, uh, the key, or with the username, the certificate, and the key that decrypts the certificate, and uh, private key, and then I'm gonna remember everything, say okay, there it connects, and then in the general tab, you'll see that it says user plus key plus pass. So it has basically the username, the key, and a password. So that's good. Now, um, now obviously, why would you want to do that? There's some cases where you have a server on the other side, and the uh, context by which the agent is running is not correct, and you want to uh, specifically use an SSH session for um, various reasons. So uh, you do that here. Now, for SFTP, same thing. Uh, there's, you click on files here and you get two buttons. The connect button will uh, use the mesh agent to retrieve and browse folders and upload and download files. So here I'm in the temp folder, I can move over and take a look at my route and so on. Or I can click SFTP and then I'm connected, but now I'm using the SFTP protocol. So you see it right here. And it's using the same credentials that I used earlier for SSH. So the SSH here and the SFTP use the same thing. So if I disconnect, I can go in general, clear the credentials, go back in files, SFTP, and then I get the same uh, username, password, or key here, prompt. So I'm going to use this time the password. Um, let's see. And I'll say remember. OK. And boom, I'm in SFTP, and then I can upload, download files, and so on. And of course, you can change the port of the SSH right on the right over here. So that's it. It's um, um, uh, SSH and FT FTP uh, you know, integration. Also, if you have local, if you have a device group that has local devices, or you have a device group that has uh, local devices relayed through an agent, then when you click on this device, you will have the SSH button and or the SFTP button. Now, you will not have the normal connect button in those cases because the remote machine does not have the agent installed. So in that case, you're, you're just connecting from the server through an agent or locally uh, if the machine is on the same network as the server and then you're doing an SFTP to that remote machine. So I can connect that, hit uh, my uh, password here and oh, actually this is not the right machine. Yeah, I actually I don't have the, this host name anymore. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the idea. So you, uh, you can basically use SSH or SFTP to connect to machines that don't have an agent. Or if you have an agent on a remote com uh, you know, network somewhere on the internet, you can go through that agent to connect uh, SFTP to any other machine on the network of the remote agent. So hopefully that was clear. Um, yeah, so it's a very nice feature. Uh, I'm really happy that SSH and SFTP are part uh, are completely integrated into Mesh Central. I think it's super useful for many different things. Have a great day. Hopefully you like that.